absolutely. Right now, we do know that basically countless schools are closed in this the middle of the middle in the middle of this historic stretch of cold weather. Also, mail's not being delivered. But the National Weather Service down in Davenport, Iowa, still has an important duty to do in this historic cold. Every day, the National Weather Service in Davenport, Iowa, launches two weather balloons. A job that still gets done despite record cold temperatures. Hot and humid. Uh, launches, really windy launches, and of course, uh, this extreme uh, record and near record cold. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a dedicated staff. This is the coldest one I believe I've ever done. <laughs> Coming from New York, that's saying a lot. It's not every day you, you can say you launched a balloon in a minus 55 wind chill. Um, here you go. Thank you. Minus 55 wind chill release, here we go. Weather balloon launches and any type of weather are a critical asset to our forecasting workflow. The instrument packages we send up really are the foundation of our computer weather models. Despite another night of even colder temperatures ahead, I'll be doing it all over again. It helps us fulfill our mission here at the Weather Service, protecting life and property. And we're basically really bundled up this morning as well. Of course, Peter Speck had the great idea with the goggles. Definitely really nice for that. We're, of course, blockaded by our buildings. So we're not really getting any wind out here. I'm wearing about six different layers of clothing. Nice and warm. Of course, we'll be heading outside in just a minute. The dangerous cold is definitely around to stick around. So definitely make sure you're staying safe and staying warm and limit your time outdoors. Outside the CBS2 patio, I'm Weather First Meteorologist Nick Stewart. CBS2 News.